Our government is ready to cooperate with you in every way, Major Wright. This smuggling of silk must stop. We are ready on the Mexican side of the border to make the arrests. Well, I suggest we delay a while until we complete the evidence on this side. Certainly, Major. Corporal Rogers has learned that the smugglers are using carrier pigeons to relay their messages. We'll have more information tomorrow. Daniels, one of our best undercover men, is operating now in civilian disguise. Good. Hey, Switz, so how about a drink? You want a drink? You'll have to play for it, boys. I feel just like yours. Good. Time for my drink. Don't pay any attention to that clock. It's cuckoo like you. Come on, boy, to give us another. Get along, my pony. Get along, I say. We're headed for the station before the break of day. Get along, my pony. We're all here to go. All the is going on in Mexico. Well, I'm going to tap you. I'll call you, draw. 
What do you got, Slim? Three kings. That's no good. Three aces. <laughs> Listen here, draw. You ah. can't tell me this game straight. You stack that deck, you dirty. I guess that'll hold you for a while. <clears throat> Say, what's the matter here? What have you been doing? Nobody can call me a crook and get away with it. Hey, look at here. Well, he can't shoot a rifle with that arm. There's something wrong with it. Let me see. Oh, don't do that. Well, we'll soon find out. You better get out of Doc Green's and have a look at it. <laughs> All right, Ray. Come on, get going. Say, what's the matter with you fellas? Ah, oh, he accused me of stacking the cards. Bobby, your mother wants this rope down at the corral. Aunt Dorothy, what do you like best, horses or pigeons? I like horses. No, horses are all right. But just think, when I let this bird go, he flies all the way to Frank's house in Mexico and then comes back again. Lots of horses come home just like that. Cats and dogs do, too. Oh, I guess I like horses, too. <laughs> Thanks a lot, buddy. Well, it's perfectly all right. <clears throat> Hello. Hello, Winer. Hey, where were you? The next time I tell you to be here, I want you to be here. Doc Green says my arm's broke. You fool. What did you go and cripple him up for? Now who's going to shoot down the bird? I don't care. You wouldn't let anybody call you a crook, would you? Uh, Silk, ready, cross border. Instructions by next bird. Say, this is a fine time for you to have your rifle arm in a sling. Well, how are we going to bring the next bird down? I can do it. Oh, you couldn't hit a barn if you were on the inside. Say, pal, how about a drink? Oh, yeah, go ahead and help yourself. And he was a switch for it. Here you are. That's pretty good whiskey. Oh, yeah, I get the best all the time. Yeah, it's so much. Thank you very much. Now, why don't you tell me the truth? Is this really any good? Well, you ought to know. Well, if it isn't, I'll let you know by return mail. Hello, Captain. Hi, Major. I don't want to fight. Does anybody want to fight? I'll take you all out and fight your duel one by one. Hi, General.
Where's my dollar? Where's where I had two dollars? Where's my dollar? Say, you shouldn't carry that information around with you. Don't worry, I got a good place to keep it. Here, call off these letters. Yes. Silk. <laughs> Say, what? That's my dollar. Well, if it's your dollar, prove it. Sure. It has purpose urinum on it. So it has. Thanks. Say, what's the matter, Admiral? Is the sea a little rough? Who are you pushing? You want to fight? I'll take you outside and fight you a duel. I don't want to fight outside. I want to fight in here. Give me something to fight. I shut up. Fight. Thank you. That's something to really like to hit a son of a bondage. Well, come on. You going to bet? Make up your mind. Ha ha ha! Something to shoot at. I want some real of the power. Oh, the pretty little horn. Ha, <laughs> pretty little horn, pretty little horn. And oh. Hey! 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 Well, what did you do that for? Now I won't know what time to take a drink. I'm awful sorry, old pal. I'm awful sorry. You forgive me? Yeah, that's all right. You should forgive me, all right, sir? Oh. Right, sir. Let's have a drink. Come on. Oh. You boys go on back. I want to talk to this bird. Hey, will you give me that drink? I went my way to wildcats in the days when I did a howl. Where's that guy who wants to fight me? Anybody want to fight me? Everybody gone or something? Say, hey, haven't I seen you somewhere before? No, I've never been in any place before. Have you? Well, you're plenty quick on the draw. Well, I just have to keep in practice. It's a secret of it all. <laughs> I suppose you're just as good with a rifle as you are with a six gun. <laughs> with a rifle? Say, give me a rifle. I'll show you. Give me a rifle. Give me a rifle. Take your time. I'll take your word for it. Why, you're a gentleman. Say, what have you been doing here lately, cowboy? Well, I've been riding a fence, but... I don't like it. It's too much work. <laughs> well, any man that could use a six-gun like you can, he don't need to work. Don't need to work? Well, what do you suggest? And want... don't make it too damn. I want you to come out to the White Company and meet a friend of mine. He needs a man of your caliber. Well, that's okay with me, but uh, don't want too much work to work. Oh, uh, it'll be fun for you. This is what I'm looking for, all the fun in the world. My name is Hanson. My, just call me the kid from Tombstone. All right, kid. Okay, boy, I'll be seeing you. That just makes up what you owe me. But you still owe me seven and a half cents for state tax. Well, the state won't object if you loan me a drink. Now, if you want a drink, go fix that clock. All right. Start pouring. Oh, I think your pigeons are great. <laughs> I'll take this rope. Any important mail today, Mr. Clemens? I did some papers and one letter. I never opened it because it was addressed to you personally. Miss Dorothy, as I was riding the pipeline today, I seen a bad bunch from the ridge outfit hanging around. This letter's a threat to blow up the wells if we don't pay. That's all? Let me see.
Now watch me, darling. I'm going to teach you how to rope a calf. Miss White, I thought you'd hire some men to stay around, kind of protect the property, and we can use them for odd jobs around. Well, that'll be all right. But now, don't say anything to Mrs. Francis and Bobby about this. Oh, of course not. How are you, Miss White? Hello, Mr. Hanson. Hello, Ram. Boss looks kind of worried. Yes, he just got the letter. Did it work? Sure, she fell for it like a ton of brick. And I can have the boys around. You know, to protect the property and they're on the payroll. That's fine. The silk's ready and the next pigeon that comes through will give us the time for us to make the haul. That's good. Not so good. Draw broke Slim's arm and he can't shoot. Broke his arm? Yeah. Well, we can't have them pigeons coming down to the kids' roost. I know, I know. And even if we got the pigeon before he did, someone might see us. What are we going to do? Don't worry. I met a fellow in town. He's a crack shot. Calls himself the Tombstone Kid. Did you ever hear him? Yeah, but I thought he was dead. Not this fellow. I'm to meet him in Calabasas. I'll bring him around and see what you think of him. All right, I'll be here. Say, hey, Tombstone, you think you could hit that weather vane? I don't know. You want me to hit it with now, a hammer? <laughs> Any bones broken? No, just my feelings. <laughs> Gee, mister, you're a swell shot. Uh, I'm just lucky. It was an accident. Oh, Bobby, are you hurt? Uh, he's all right. He's a good little man. Thank you for helping. You're welcome, miss. That was a neat piece of work there, Tombstone. I guess you'll do. Who are those people? She's a widow. She's the sister of the girl you're going to work for. <laughs> so I'm going to work for a woman, huh? I don't think I'm going to like this job. No, no, no. Just wait till you see her. Okay. Here's that tombstone fellow I was telling you about. You think he's all right? Sure he's all right. Well, he didn't want to take the job because he thought he was working for a woman. Hey, Tombstone. 
This is Cinch Clemens, one of my foreman. Glad to know you. Now that I've made you two boys acquainted, I'm due back in town. Much obliged. Graham, tell you what the job is? No. Boss got a letter from someone threatening to blow up the wells. We're hiring some good men to act as guards. You want the job? Why don't you call in the sheriff? Well, that wouldn't do any good. He couldn't sleep here. Say, you're going to get smarter than you want to work. Well, I want to work. I'll take the job. When do we start? Right now. Come on, I'll introduce you to the boss. And he shot the rope in half. It must be one of those men Clint is hiring. Here he comes. Miss White, this is Tombstone. We hired to help protect the property. Glad to know you, miss. How do you do? And this is Miss Francis and Bobby. I think we've met before. All you fellas be at the office tomorrow morning. Now listen. You'll say it now, or I'll blow your brains out. to say, but he won't say it. Ah, he's worse than cuckoo. That's funny. Yeah, that guy sure is goofy. Hey, what do you think you're trying to do with that car? Yeah. Well, we better go on upstairs, boys. There's too much danger about being overheard down here. Right. Yeah, I'm going to have a drink on the way. Well, yeah, maybe, maybe. Well, then. Perkins. Why, hello, Dorothy. How is Mrs. Francis and Bobby? Oh, very well. Thanks. That's good. I have some valuable papers here, Mr. Perkins. Will you put them in your safe for me? Why, I'll be glad to, Dorothy. Thanks. Good night. Good night. This is no barn. Go on out that hitching post and wait for me. Yeah. Hello there, Perkins. How are you? Hello, Corporal. I got word from headquarters that you might drop in. Anything I can do for you? Anybody around? No. This Miss White that was just in here. What about her? Well, she's been running the company ever since her father died. Anything wrong up there? I don't know. What was she doing in here? She wasn't in here very long. She put these papers in here for me to keep safely for her. Let me take a look at them. I might find something out. There's a bunch of stocks. Here's a letter. Oh, I see. Don't tell anybody I saw these. 
I may want to leave a message here later on for one of the boys. Thanks very much. Okay, Corporal. Hey, wait a minute! I'm... Where are you going? I'm leaving town. I've had enough of this outfit. I'm through, I tell you. Don't move. All right. So you won't tell me who wrote the letter to Miss White. And of course you don't know anything about those pigeons, do you? And Cinch and Ram aren't your little pals, are they? Thanks, little chatterbox, for all the information. If you decide to talk, let me know. You want any more? No, no, no. All right, let's have it. Well, Ra Ram Hansen wrote that letter. That's what I thought. What are you going to do? Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I don't know. Now, dinner will be served at 8. I'll be back at 8.30. What's the matter, Sonny? One of my best brother pigeons is sick. Oh, that's too bad. What do you do with those pigeons? Eat them? Eat them? No. These are carrier pigeons. A friend, a boy I used to go to school with, lives in a ranch in Mexico. And we send messages to each other with our pigeons. Is that so? For two weeks now, I haven't gotten a message from him. Well, I guess you'll have to write him a letter through the mail. I sure hope your pigeon gets well.
I'm awful dry. Can't you let me have a drink while I'm working? Did you fix that clock? No. Why don't you go down to Spike's place? He's got an old cuckoo clock, maybe. Has he? Yes, sir. All right. Now, yeah, the pipe, he couldn't be beat for looting and shooting and sin. Then a chuck wagon deck was a sorrowful wreck when the Adam Pipe beat put it in. He fanned his gun fast, but they got him at last. He died with his boots on his feet. And the Wild West was rid of a dangerous kid with Sylvia Adam Pipe beat. A face like a hatchet, a head made to match it, a nose like a pelican bee. He was vision told and he always was road for no children here was too neat. His riding was classy, his roping was classy, he liked to mix, mingle, and ball. He was not much on bragging, but took more to wagon, he could hold up his end in a brawl. He rode to a rise and sat back with his eyes, looking down into a swale. He had come to a stand for the law of the land and a posse holding the trail. He'd seen so much weather, his face was like leather, his hands was all horny and rough. You could see by his stride he was just made to ride, and the bronco for him was too up here. Yes, I was looking your place over. It's beautiful also. <laughs> That's a peculiar shoe your horse wears. Oh, that isn't my horse. It belongs to Mr. Hanson. He just leaves it here for me to ride. Oh, I see. Why? Oh, I don't know. I was just sort of interested in it. That's all. Well, it's my wells that need watching, not my horse. <laughs> you don't realize, but I have your interest at heart also. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Where's Spike? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. What's the matter? Yeah. Oh. What happened to you? Uh, uh, some of the cowboys... Huh? Some of the cowboys from the YU tied me up for a joke. Now, <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think it's funny. <laughs> Untie me, will you? Sure. <laughs> and looking all over for you. Need you down to Wells. Well, I was sort of watching things around here. I guess Miss White don't need any watching. She can take care of herself. Come along. All right. You can kind of watch yourself, can't you? Mm -hmm. <coughs> you want some water? <coughs> No, you old fool! I'd like to buy that horse, Mr. Hanson. Well, someday I might make you a present of him. Thanks, but I'd rather buy him. <clears throat> hey, you. 
Come here. We're going to do a little pigeon shooting. Pigeon shooting? With a rifle? Yeah, that's what I said. Well, I thought I was hired to protect your wells. Listen, this is part of your job. If you want to make money, do as I say and keep your mouth shut. Okay with me. You got any liquor? Liquor? What for? Why, for me. There comes a pigeon. Bring it down. Him, you fool. Well, I asked you if you had any liquor. I can't shoot straight unless I'm cockeyed. Here's your pay. What's this for? You're through. Now take it and get off the ranch. Give me that gun. Oh, that pigeon just come in? Yeah. Was there a message on it? Yeah, here it is. I was just taking it to Mom. Isn't it funny? It's as funnier than you think. Where's Miss White? At the office. Now, you get your horse and find her, quick. These men are smugglers. There's going to be trouble around here. Shall I get the sheriff? Yes, and hurry up, quick. Come on. We'll wait here. Say, what's the matter with that sharpshooter you hired? Why? Well, he tied me up. What do you mean? <laughs> that guy missed a pigeon. Where's Rand at? I don't know. It's up the ranch, I guess. Go over. Spread out, you fellas. We'll find him. He's with Cinch. And Mrs. Francis, there's not much time for explaining, but it looks like there's going to be some gunplay here. I'm going to try to round them up, but I need some help. And don't you worry about Miss Dorothy and Bobby. The sheriff will take care of them. You ride as fast as you can and get this message to the Border Patrol. Fast, lady.
That fool missed the pigeon. Now that ain't the half of it. He's a ranger. If he ever gets his hands on that pigeon, we'll never get that silk. Get back to ranch, boy. Uh, she's better down here in the gully, away from the house. Less chance of anyone seeing her. Yeah, that's right. Hey, wait a minute. I'm gonna get that horse for a ram. Smugglers. We gotta get the share. What? Where is Mr. Tombstone? Down by the grill. Come on. Just a minute. Stand right where you are. Whoa, what's the matter with you, fool? Look out, draw. He'll kill you. I think you're pretty smart, don't you? one of the men I'm looking for. I'm Corporal Daniels of the Border Patrol. Now, you better get out of here. There's going to be trouble. Not I. Nobody can make a thieves nest out of my property. I'll fight. Come on, get out. Come on. Now, get in that other room. Come on. Get in there. Come on, back in there. Well, that's two of them. So you better get out of here before you get hurt. Why should I run away? I'll stay here and fight. Well, uh, okay. Border Patrol, we tied her up. Where is she? She's down in the gully with the corral. Will you go down and keep an eye on her?
your feet around here. Quick. Back up there, Sandy. I sent Mrs. Francis for the Border Patrol. And she isn't back yet. It's me they want. I'm going out. No! I don't want you to. Well, there's too many of them out there. We don't stand a chance. And I don't want you to get hurt. But... Uh... Here they come! You fellas seen that tombstone, kid? Yeah, I went in the office. He's a guy with a gang who's trying to blow up these wells. Give them guns and they can help us smoke them out. We've got to get away from these windows. Let's go on out of the room. Wait a minute, Bobby. Get out. You shouldn't have shot so quick, Bobby. Now listen. We'll all keep quiet. And we'll draw them in closer. And then we can get them. Surround the buildings, boy, and fire when I do. Keep low. Think that volley got him? Funny he don't reply. It's tricky. Let's crawl in a little closer. There, in the administration building. Shh. Keep your eye on that window. I'm riding on with the troops. You follow with Corporal Rogers. They're still in the building. They've got to keep quiet. Pretty tough. Well, all right, all right. Now, you fellas rush the door on that side. We'll rush it on this side. And both together. Now stay where you are and don't move.
All right, I got you covered. Not so fast. Tension, Corporal Daniels. Your commanding officer's outside, and I don't think he'd like that rough stuff. Well, it was his fault. He started it. Come on, keep your hands up. Get in line there. Yeah. You call off the letters, champion. L. Look. Lay low. Very hot. Wait for cool weather. They'll be cool a long time. The Mexican government has captured them. Geez, lucky you got this message. What do you mean, lucky? I couldn't read it. I'm going to write you an invitation to Bobby's birthday party. I hope you can read that. I'll read it, even if you write it in code. If you don't cuckoo for me, you'll never cuckoo for anybody else. And where my money goes, 